previously on Danganronpa. Holy fuck! Oh my god! Oh my god! You're, you're gonna die! We're all gonna die! Get away from me! You're infected! No! <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. And now, back to the academy. Hello! This is Nico B. Back with some more Danganronpa. We last left off, we bonded with Fujisaki and Ashina, uh, who are my two favorite characters in this freaking game, because they're too freaking adorable. Ashina with her little gopher face, and Fujisaki for just being short and goofy. And now, we've been called to... the gymnasium, is that right? By Monokuma, where he's probably gonna be like, There's another incentive to come kill everybody! <laughs> oh, well, when you put it that way. Yeah, hey, how's it going, Nagi? What's up, gopher man? Spe speaking of gopher faces. Have you gone sad yet, Yamada? Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna leave you to your. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, Master McGunner Nagi, I only request you refrain from scaring me! Dude, I'm standing right in front of you. You were looking right at me. <laughs> Sorry, we should probably get going. Do not go. You mustn't go. Just a whisper. I hear it in my ghost. By which I mean my penis. You're not the only one with a bad feeling, and god dang it, put your pants, pull your pants up. <laughs> or that still doesn't mean we can skip out. Yeah, you also speak the truth. <laughs> I suppose I have no choice. Fare thee well, world. I should head in too. Damn it all. Damn it all to freaking hell. Monokuman's gonna be like. All right, if the next person you kill somebody gets free cookies. I'll be like, well, well, hell, they, in that case, fuck that. And whip out a machete and just start taking out everybody. Hmm, what could Monokuma possibly want with us this late? I'm curious to see what this will happen. Will happen this time. Where's my tea, Tommy? <laughs> yeah, Porky. No, Porky, forgot your tea. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're dead for that. <laughs> just as I started to get bored. <laughs> I feel like murdering. Are you are Why are you by? Are you incapable of putting on a more pleasant face? Let's just say the beaming smile shown at the close of each episode of a nation's beloved housewife anime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more concerned by the fact that you can laugh at all right now. Good lord. I don't know about you guys. I mean, I, I'm going to be honest though. I mean, I, Takami's a dick. But I don't think he's going to end up killing anybody. At least not for a while. Because they're just... Right now, it's just screaming like... Like, this guy is talking about killing people. He's totally cool with it. It, it just... It would be too fucking obvious. I mean, I hope it isn't. Because if he ends up killing somebody... Well, I do and I don't. I hope it doesn't. Because it would be really obvious. And it would kind of be a bit of a downer. But then I also hope he does. Because then, then at least he'll be dead. And, you know, we don't have to listen to his little snarky ass mouth anymore. Who is it you should really be concerned about? Oh, uh, what do you- what do you mean? Nothing, I was just expressing my amazement at your stupidity and your gigantic melons of breast. Man, you talking about my mermaid swamps? My mermaid melons? <laughs> you don't want to live here, but you don't want to kill anyone. You've rejected every option given to you. And I'm just wasting away without a goal. I'm amazed you can live with yourselves like that. I have an idea too! <laughs> uh, involves swimming and involves... I don't know, calisthenics and rubbing my upper body outside while I'm naked. Oh, yes, weren't you going on about how you were so certain the police would come and save us? How did that ever turn out? I don't see any evidence of them having been rescued. Well, uh, uh, now, barely, barely. What is going on with that, anyway? It is rather strange. The police couldn't possibly overlook something like this happening in a th school in the middle of the city. <laughs> the police are useless. Or perhaps the puppet master just has so much power he can control even the law enforcement. Oh, hey, that, this might be totally irrelevant, but... If it's not relevant, shit at your fucking face! And your fucking hair! Sorry, no can do doodly, weird noodly doodly. <laughs> what did you call me? Did you call me a doodly? Damn right I did. Yesterday I was chilled in the entrance hall. While I was there, I heard something. It was like, and then I was like, and then, what? What did you hear? Like, what does that mean? I'm not sure how to describe it. What did what did it sound like? Like I said, I don't know how to describe it. it like, if I had to try, something like a construction site. Construction. 
truest truth. It my, must have been my imagination, dude. I could only barely hear it. I'm sure you're just imagining it. Your ears are ringing or something, or, I don't know, being deaf deafened by your massive hair. Oh, 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 what you talking about? It's gotta be, that's gotta be Monokuma, right? Come on. Whoa, whoa. Dramatics. Dramatic zoom. Whoa. Oh! Hey, how's it going? I've been here the whole time. I'd say I was surprised to see you, but I'm not. There he is. Oh, Curry didn't hear construction sounds. He heard explosions and stuff. Oh, I was pissed out about murder contraptions. Explosions? Like machine guns firing. Oh, 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 they're not like sounds you might hear at a construction site. <laughs> I didn't know they used machine guns at construction sites. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, my lips are zipped and I've rolled away the key. Oh, there it is and there it goes. That's classified top secret. But at least tell us what you can. What did you, why did you want us all to come here? You're an impatient one, getting down to business. Mm. Well, first things first, I've got my own, i got some complaints of my own. I've been feeling kind of blue lately. My stitches are coming loose and I'm not as bad as I used to be. Yeah. <laughs> I see what you did there. I think the problem is, I'm bored out of my mind. <gasps> I need some excitement, some danger, some woody one-liners. Somebody needs to fucking die, in other words. You don't mind me being blunt about it. This sucks when you are the up in here like nowish. I knew it. And it is for this reason I've decided to present you guys with your next incentive. Free cookies! Ugh, incentive. You mean like those videos? Where you destroyed my couch, damn it. Are you, are you saying you're gonna show us something crazy again, try to set another murder? And set another murder? You're making me sound like the bad guy. I'm just a bear. A bear with a... <laughs> with magic spears that come out of the ground and shish kebab you. Make you bleed pink. I don't know what you're planning, but no one else is going to kill anyone. Ah! Try whatever you want. It's not happening. Ah! Oh, really? That's nice. Give it your best shot. Well, I'm going to get started here. Um, the theme of today's incentive is shameful memories and deep, dark secrets. Oh, this, well, you're going to... If you don't kill somebody, you're gonna reveal. Maybe. No. Everyone who's ever lived is, has communicated their share of shameful memories and deep dark secrets. So I've taken upon myself to do a little digging and uncover all the skeletons you got in your guys' closets. Oh! Behold! That top secret information is right here. We'll see it within these envelopes. One lucky person will also win our raffle. <laughs> Get a free Monokuma teddy bear and dig around. You poke, if you poke it in the belly, yep. <laughs> what's that a spear and stabs you? Wow, no way! I want one of those! Me too! <laughs> Everybody loves Monokuma! Do, 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 do. I'll be distributing them in just a moment, just so, so check out what I've dug up on you! As the last word she left his mouth, Monokuma tossed the envelopes at our feet. I reached down and grabbed the envelope with my name on it. The silly robe was written inside. Her body tensed up instantly. Nagi went the bed into is in fifth grade. Uh wow, really? Damn, dude. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> That's not that bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? How did you discover this? How did you know about my <laughs> my gay sexual relations with Kuabar <laughs> with Kuabar in the bathroom? <laughs> oh, cause I got cameras in this whole fucking building? <laughs> Good lord, you guys were loud, too! No, that is impossible. <laughs> we were quiet as could be. Oh, you guys were fucking really loud. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I kinda heard you guys doing it, too. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think we all kinda knew that happened. Uh, oh, no! Oh, uh, my dick of a sucker secret, no! Yes, and Gross ran out from all directions. You got 24 hours! I don't have a new villa by then! I'm gonna tell the whole world everyone's deepest, darkest secrets! Well, you know, if everyone's got something to share, it's like... You know, I don't know. I mean, it's like, everyone's got something to be embarrassed about, so it's like, you might be embarrassed, but then the next person's gonna be fucking embarrassed, so it's like, not as bad. I'm gonna watch people together and have them go door to door, spreading the truth. Lions, tigers, and bears, oh my, the shame! Is this your incentive? Turn tootin'! Y'all want your dirty laundry after everyone to see it, do Uh, well, yes, yeah, that's the thing I want people to know about. I wouldn't kill someone just to prevent it from getting out. Say what? <laughs> Say what? 
Exactly, and you're a fool to think otherwise. No one would murder anyone over something so trivial. Oh, well, fucking balls. You guys suck! I hate you! I figured memories was a great word to make you guys, you guys think about the outside world. It's also the fact that you don't want anyone to know about them. So I just thought this was a great way to, you, you know. Now, somebody's gonna, somebody's gonna have a really bad secret, like, they murdered somebody, or, you know, in the past. A hit and run, or, I don't know, they, someone farted in somebody else's Cheetos, or, oh my god. Guess that means nobody's gonna die, lame. Well, whatever. Game over, dude, game over. At the very least, I'll enjoy a little, a little satisfaction I can squeeze from revealing your secrets tomorrow. But I'll remember when you go, realize it was all for nothing. I'm gonna go cry myself to sleep now. This, this shoulder slashes head down, mock him retreat to the far end of the gym. Alright, see ya. <laughs> I was kinda of scared at first, but it looks like we all dodged a bullet. Hell yeah! I mean, yeah, having all secrets spilled is kind of embarrassing. There's no way that's enough to send to commit murder, you know? I don't know, everybody could just, like, tell each other their secrets now if they want, yeah? Soldiers, I have a proposition. Hey, there we go. Ishimaru's got the right idea. Let's get this out of the way now, and I'll reveal our secrets to one another. Dude, we already told you, we know what your secret was. And Kuwabara's secret. Who's Kuwabara? You're Kuwabara. Oh, wait, I'm not Kuwabara, I'm... Kuwada? No, no, I'm not Kuwada. Who am I again? You're Uwada. All oh, right, wait. <laughs> Who am I anymore? This is, that way, this incentive will lose all meaning. It's a great idea if I do say myself. I'll go first. My shameful memory is of when. Nobody wants to hear you telling embarrassing stories. What? Uh, no, my story is not embarrassing. No, wait, count me out. I don't want to tell. Doesn't matter what anyone says. I'm not telling. Even if I wanted to share, it's not possible. And that makes us all more curious. It's human nature. So please do tell, Giddy Giddy. I will not. If you ask again, I will stab you in the fucking face with my drill hair. Come on, it's not hard. Just tell us. Once again. <gasps> say it, say it, say it. Dude, you are gonna fucking die. Here we go. <gasps> I said I don't want to talk about you fucking putrid sack of a lord. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> no! I concur. There's no need for me to reveal anything. All, did, all it said was that I was a fucking dick as a kid. Ha! <laughs> so, so <laughs> Screw you, Monica. I'm, I'm still a dick. Ah! Uh, ah, uh, I see what you did. And what about you, Fujisaki? I'm sorry. I don't really want to say anything right now. But, but. I can't go on like this, so I promise to tell you later. <laughs> I work really hard, so I'm strong enough to tell everyone. Yeah, I hope she doesn't end up being like a crazy person. That will shatter all my hopes and dreams and images. Uh, it's like, I don't know. I like I really like Fujisaki. And hopefully not Shina either, but... If you don't want to, you don't need voice self. Truth is, I don't want to say anything either. Don't say I don't want to admit it, Brozum. With this much resistance, it looks like you're, like you're outvoted. <laughs> Brozum. My bro from an... My, my bro from another hoe. Well, it, it is... it is what it is. Gosh, no one here is going to commit a murder over something as trivial as this, or will they? Yeah, exactly. I always got past so dark they go far as killing someone. Just keep it hidden, right? Well, the motion to reveal our secrets early has failed. I re recommend you all perish just before the 24-hour deadline expires. Ah! Have our, having our past display put on display is shameful, but that shame weighs far less than another human's life. So, uh, don't make any hasty decisions. Huh? <laughs> the more you stress, the more you stress you point, the more you, the more you stress me out, too! Oh, my apologies. I know it's unthinkable, but I can't help but yell at everything. Bang dong! Well, I got back to my office real fast. I even had time to whip myself up another martini. I knew it. <laughs> These are just pre-recorded, aren't they? No, they aren't! <laughs> I can see you! Ah! My time is in effect. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, ooh, tomorrow will be a good day. Anywho dudes is late, let's just call it night and get some rest. Hopefully when we wake up tomorrow, not one of us is dead. <laughs> I agree, we should all use this time to prepare for tomorrow. Still a twinge of uncertainty lurking in the gymnasium, but we dispersed to our rooms. 
Where we take root and grow into something un un unmanageable. A secret past, our private memories. No, I can't let him find out what I did. I peed. No. Or it's meant to remind us of our connection to the outside world. To be honest, what Monokuma said didn't really resonate with me. I couldn't imagine a situation where someone would take another's life over something like that. But the world doesn't always operate as mu with as much optimism as I do. But my nerves are relatively calm and relaxed. Yeah, dude, just because you have a really kind of shitty secret doesn't mean everybody else does. Must be really exhausted or something, because I'm crazy sleepy right now. Uh, hopefully I won't wake up and I'm totally dead. <laughs> By which I mean I don't wake up. I drifted off to sleep in a blissful ignorance of the tragedy unfolding at that very moment. No, I'm being murdered! Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you might have quit beating off, damn it. Oh, we got a gun in the corner now. Alright, do you have a minute to spare near and let to lend? I'd like to know about how you view the world as a whole. Or put it another way, the difference between being active and passive. What is this, anyway? I'm, like, so, like, baffled by this little... This little thing in the happens in between stuff. Like, for example, the words killed and murder. Surprising how many people don't understand the difference between the two. Killing someone and murdering someone are two completely different things. Do you know what I mean? Hope you know what I mean. Anyone can kill someone, but very few can commit murder. It's so much more difficult to take action based on clear-headed judgment than it is to act on emotion. You'd have determination, determination. So, what am I trying to say? I have no idea either. Read between the lines, thick motherfucker. Ha <laughs> ha. God dang it. Good. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! Hi, doggy. How's it going? Oh, you never let me down. That was the perfect reaction. Why are you here? God dang it. I didn't know you slipped in the nude, Noggy. You're damn right I do, and I'm proud of it. Nah. You have a tiny penis. I do not. Trying to say something. Trying to say new. Instead of using the PA system, I came to wake you up myself. But why? Why? Because it's fun. <laughs> Since I'm here, there's something I want to tell you. Which would be... Aren't you a bit too relaxed? I mean, word around the quarter cooler is something happened to one of your buddy buddy classmates. Fucking great. Great. Uh What's the matter? You look like someone dropped it. Tried to chop your head off with a dull axe and gave up halfway. <laughs> That's a ew. <laughs> it's like happened. You just want to rub it in Nagi's face, didn't he? What do you mean something happened? I'll figure that out was your responsibility. Good luck! Ta -da! Thing happened to someone, does he mean? No, that's not possible. Uh, there's absolutely no way. But what if? No, speculating isn't going to get me anywhere. The best thing to do right now, I need to go tinky. <laughs> and then I gotta go get my butt to the cafeteria. But first, tinky. Okay, who's missing? A lot of people. There you are, Nagi. You alright, dude? You haven't been out murdering people last night, have you? Did you come here with here because of what Monokuma said? Akura, Shino, Gami, and yes, me. Oh, do I know you love me, Nagi? No, actually, I kind of hate you. Shut up, you know. Deep down, you just love my sexy, sexy, nerdy good looks. It's like I'm a nerd, but I'm also a sexy nerd. Hmm. Oh yes. And also, and also, <laughs> I also jump up a lot in the sexiness, sexiness. When you carry big wads of cash with you. It's got me. What? You, just you four. Where are the others? Either they've gone to verify what Monokuma said, or they got caught up in the something he mentioned. Something. Perhaps. No, the murder has taken place. It was the first thing that came to mind listening to Monokuma talk. The worst case scenario. Being the absolute worst possibility, I eliminated it right away. God dang it. Please don't... Well, Ashin is here, right? So that's good. God dang it. I hope Fujisaki isn't dead. If so, then is it because of yesterday? No way, it was stupid memory! What the freaking doodle pants? Stupid, I wouldn't be so sure about that. There must have been someone who thought otherwise. What? Do you have any idea of how dangerous it is to assume everyone's views views the world through your eyes? You could have said something about that yesterday! Do you have the memory of a goldfish? This is the king of the castle. Not everyone shares the castle. I gain nothing from going out of my way to throw you a lifesaver. 
<laughs> My favorite flavor is cherry. What's yours? Oh, we're the lock lemon. Lemon sucks. <laughs> lemon is for flebians. <laughs> Are you still gonna learn on about that crap? Something's not right upstairs, dude. Drew, it's truth. I think we might have he might have been brain be brainwashed or something. Rather than squabbling, we should be trying to figure out what Monokuma had said happened. I concur, we'll split up and search the building. I wanna go and hide my hide my evidence of murder. I mean I'm gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> ma, ma, let's get going. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna guess it's gotta be in the gymnasium, right? So it was upstairs, so. Huh? The door's unlocked. They had to use your electro ID to open those. I knew it! Somebody's dead! For investigative purposes, the door's a bit unlocked. Please explore your heart's content. Oh! Investigative purposes? Oh, that means that I'm probably gonna. I can go into the women's room now. I expected as much. What the fuck did you come from? Ah, Tagami! From the way Monokuma was talking, there's no doubt of the murder has taken place. No! That changing room over there. It's suspicious. Very suspicious, wouldn't you agree? Ah, suspicious. Doesn't like anyone's checked the, the changing room. Let's look around the women's room first. Tagami's muttering almost as if he was talking to himself. Fuck! Who's gonna be dead? It's, it's, it's gonna be Fujisaki. God damn it. I know it's gonna be her. That way for your spot, he places his hand on the door to the changing room. The women's, the women's changing room. The door slid open without a sound. Oh no. Time stopped dead in his tracks. Bloodbath fever. No, I knew it! Oh, oh man. Damn it! I knew she was gonna be one of the ones to die. Bloodbath fever, really? Jesus. It took several moments for my mind to process the scene it was it was witnessing and accept it as reality. I suppose it's good that I bonded with her while I had the chance, but god dang it. That makes me so sad. I really like Fujisaki. No! As soon as it finished processing. <laughs> A scream hurtling from my mouth entirely of its own will. Good freaking. And right into it. Right into Tagami's ear. Good freaking lord. You're bursting my eardrums with that. Well, it's just a dead person. Look at Shitone Despair Magazine. I don't really get that thing where it changes from like a N in parentheses to an N not parentheses, so it's like, it's like a noun, everyday life. And then it turns to an everyday life. I tried to hold back as far as I could possibly could, but it was a futile effort. Screams burst forth from deep inside me, like a perpetually erupting geyser. His reaction, however, was almost the polar opposite. Ah, 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 it's beautiful. This is curious, wouldn't you agree? This guy was calm, composed, if talking about something he saw on TV. Oh my god, what they... What did they do to her? I feel like Jesus! Oh god! Look at her. Look at her. Fujisaki's been crucified. And the blood writing on the wall. What that fever? Is that like a, <laughs> is that a song? It's like ballroom blitz. Blah, blah, bad fever. Blah, bad fever. Blah, bad fever. Only excessively cruel way to kill someone. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> yes, I do. I do concur. She's dead. I can be anything but cruel. That's not what I'm talking about. The murder is far too brutally demented to have been committed by an amateur. This isn't like when, when San, Sayaka Mazona was murdered in a fit of desperation and self-preservation. It's almost like the colonel had derived pleasure from killing her, wouldn't you agree? Fucking hell, okay, then it's... It's... I doubt it's Tagami. I mean, I just freaking doubt it. Maybe this Maybe this one's gonna be Fukawa. Huh? My confused rattle of mind was unable to comprehend what he was trying to say right away. Or was he given the time to attempt it? Hey, what's up with all the scream? No, I'm Fujisaki! Dude, I wonder what Uwada's gonna say. He might be really. I wonder if he'll be like really sad. We got a corpse here! Oh. <laughs> we'll be holding class trial pretty soon, so make sure you get a use of your time you got! We'll find some of those clues! What was that? Right, you were unconscious when it happened last. 
that was a corpse discovery announcement. When three or more people found it at the body, the announcement is triggered to alert the others. Apparently his way of ensuring everyone has a fair chance of finding the killer. Fair chance of finding the culprit. A corpse discovery announcement! Does that mean Fujisaki is... Yes, she's dead. If you couldn't tell, her freaking face has been, like, destroyed. D -d 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 Before you start howling, let me go find the others. Looks like another round is about to begin. Another round of this life and death game clue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> flew out of the chain room. I don't think it took very long for him to find everyone and bring them back. But my sister's time was all out of whack. In any case, the next thing I noticed was the unstrained fear and anger and confusion on their faces. As soon as they saw Fujisaki's body bolted to the floor like so many pillars. Curses. I could not protect her. Mm. Holy shit, she's powering up. <laughs> Holy shit! Super Saiyan powers. Yet another soldier has fallen victim. Dude, I feel so bad where Eshimaru when he starts crying like that. Like, oh. He gets so, uh, it's okay, dude. Aww. And so it begins again. Whoa, whoa. What the hell is this? A dream is a dream. It's all but a dream. I have, I have to break free of the womb. I have no recollection of my birth. Nah. How obnoxious. You okay, man? No, I don't want to leave. Looks like someone's around. Are you curious about that? I didn't want to fucking leave. I'm trying to talk to freaking... Apparently I can't seem to do that. Apparently I can't talk to anybody. Hold on the wall. Oh, come on! Stop restricting me so much. What? This is already the worst writing on the wall, literally. I see it. It's not that fucking hard for me to look at it. Oh, I'm sorry. You want to stick my face right next to it? I can't, I can't read it unless I have my face right next to the wall. The phrase blood bath fever is written on the wall in blood. Oh, thank God I read, wouldn't examine it. I never would have fucking known that. It's not like you said it two seconds ago or I can read it like I... <laughs> it's not in giant fucking bold letters. It's not a dying message, but it is extremely strange. Guessing the killer did that? I feel like I've heard this before. Blood bath fever written in blood. A villainous homicidal maniac with a brutally demented modus operandi. He always leaves a message written in the victim's blood, bloodbath fever. He chooses his victims at random without warning, and even the police can't find a pattern. The internet has dubbed the suspect of these serial murder cases. Genocide or shoot, dude? No! No, dude, it's like it. Genocide or shoot, the homicidal maniac who has the public in a fury. The M.O. is brutal and demented. There are no words to describe how maniacal and perverse he is. So someone will mix genocide shoes murders? But why? Take that, so this is the work of the real genocide of shoe. <gasps> the real thing? Give me one of us genocide of shoe, dude! No, blah, 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 blah. I guess it's probably not you. No, no way! I'm more in awe how many loose screws one need to come up with a phrase like bloodbath fever. I've got a really strong feeling it's gonna be in Fukawa. Like, cause it just doesn't- I don't think it's gonna be in Solis. Tagami, the way he's a interpreting the situation, I just- I don't know, I just don't think it's gonna be Tagami either. Everyone else is too fucking freaked out for it to be them, you know? The only one who's not there saying anything is Fukawa. Indeed, there is more- nothing more problematic than a mentally unstable killer. Hey! What now?! <laughs> It's Fukawa! She raised her arm to point at the changing room door. Ah! Ah! Mr. Fatawa, having arrived it after everyone else. Huh? No! Why? 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 Holy shit, what the hell? She collapsed, dude! Okay, maybe she didn't do it. I, I don't know. Does she look like she's... Well, she, maybe she has a split personality or something. Something about that. Something about that just seemed odd. Like, yeah. She collapsed, dude. N not sound like she. The sound she would make when she did. Fakao! We didn't rush over Fakao's fallen body and began shaking her shoulders. Wake up! Wake up! Mermaid swamp is coming! Are you okay, Fakao? Hang in there! I don't. I don't even seem to recall her mentioning the fact that the sight of blood caused her to pass out. Hemophobia. 
She must not be able to watch horror movies. This is some kind of... Isn't this like kind of problem, kind of a problem, dude? Sleeping outside the rooms against the rules, ain't it? Maybe she should be safe. The rules only prohibit deliberate use of any other room to sleep. Well, passing out ain't deliberate, so I'd say we're doing okay here. Okay. Look out! Can you hear me? Hey! Is anybody there? Hello! I'm gonna rub my boobs in your face if you don't wake up. What's up in response to your words? Fukawa kind of jumped to her feet. She jumped to her feet, but the strange absurdity of her motion knocked me speechless. Up straight up while lying dead, still lying down. Changed orientation in the air. What? What the hell? And landed on her feet. Oh God, dang it! What the hell? The movements were ridiculous and unnatural, like they paid no heed to human anatomy. Blah, yeah, yeah. Get a little something on your face there. Is that? The lawyer tongue is long, isn't it? Uh, what? Sorry, I was so surprised. I blacked out. What happens, you know? Or is it just me? Go. You all right? Your eyes are kind of looking in two different directions. Totally fine, totally fine. Ah. Hey, it's a body. Look, it's dead. Ah. Yeah, she had a head pretty bad, dude. The world is made up of fronts and backs. Nine fronts and nine backs, like truths and lies. You're kind of scaring me. <laughs> and you're not talking like usual either. Don't worry about it. I call it a stroke of good luck. That I don't have that accursed stutter anymore. <laughs> I knew it. She's a split personality, so it probably was her, right? Oh, I figured it out. You're not okay. Your eyes are strangely vacant. You, I, it would probably be best to escort her to a room. I'll do it, but somebody give me a hand. It's uh, did someone ask for a hand? Giggity, giggity. What'd you say, Shamar? What? I've been ignored now. <laughs> it's elementary school all over again. In middle school and high school. All right then, you think. All right, you then you think care of her, and the rest of us will get started on the investigation. Is there another problem with Ugami and Wada handling security like last time? Hold on, wait. First off, investigation. This wasn't the work of the puppet master. The last one should have made that perfectly clear. Gun. Chihiro Fujisaka was unquestionably murdered by one of us. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Ah! Bingo! Well, how'd you know I was gonna show up? Because you've done it 33 million times already in this fucking playthrough. <laughs> there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that, it's perfectly normal. I mean that's all the rules of graduation. Then it happened again? You're saying it happened to freaking again? One of us is a crazy sack of doodle. One of us killed one of our friends. Oh, you're getting me scared. You're, you're getting you're getting scared again? Damn, man. You, you got all time of tiny ass balls in here. Oh. <laughs> is, is that tiny too? Should we compare? Oh. Dude, you saw this morning. You know it's freaking enormous. I saw this tiny. Not that I actually have one. Oh. Enough fooling around. Stop talking about your bear penis and give us a hand. <laughs> oh, I most certainly did. I'm getting used to it by this. Why, to this point now, I've got copies of the Monocle File 2 for everyone. Alrighty then, get your cats later. Best of luck for the investigation. Ta -da! Investigation, you mean we have to go through that again? Good freaking lord. We gotta examine our friend's body. We have to suspect one another. I, I can't do it. I can't handle going through that again. I'm with Ina! <laughs> I don't want to do it! I'm out of here, bitches! No! Where would you go? You cannot escape from this. How about you get the hell over it already? Blood is just liquid, and the dead body is nothing but an object. Why well, aren't you just Mr. Gung Ho? Why the hell wouldn't I be? I'm dead if I don't figure out who killed her. <laughs> well, yeah, you're right, but I need time to. What? Do you want to die? And do it, and do it quick. You're wasting pre precious oxygen. You just call that body an object? That kid, who decides not a fucking object? I'm not letting you get away with your disrespect. Hell yeah! You go, Kubabara. I'm not Kubabara. Who's that? Where's your meshi? <laughs> don't, 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 don't jump down each other's throats. Tagami isn't necessarily incorrect. Good, Gary. Our lives are in danger. If we don't solve this murder and find who killed Fujisaki. Tagami's theory is correct. In just that, she really is the culprit. 
We can have more bodies on our hands if we don't do something. Not just more bodies. We can all potentially all become victims. Oh, dude, just go away. Oh, fear not, fear not. For our academic calcium, a single villain is allowed to kill a maximum of two people. Oh. Really? Wait, what? Oh, uh, was that the rules? Well, right now, it sure is. If one, one person went around killing a bunch of people, you guys wouldn't get to enjoy life here very long. Okay, so, alright, you can only kill to two people, otherwise, I guess, if you kill any more, then you're screwed already. Then why not set the li limit to one? As far as Scoop's mystery, mystery stories go, Serial Killer on Loose and Academy has a nice ring to it. Oh, ho, ho. one victim does not, does not a serial killing make. For real, for, for real this time, I'll be serious, we'll get for the last round. Ah! I don't much understand his logic, but it, if two is the limit, that means at most one or more of us could fall victim to the killer. What a shame that would be. We best find the call before that happens, then. You sure you fucking trip? Anyway, me and Yishimaru are gonna escort Fukao to a room. <laughs> I'm getting escorted! I like being escorted! <laughs> Tongue just sticks out. We're starting on the investigation, too. We don't have time to waste dilly dallying. We cannot ascertain who murdered Sh Shihiro Fujisaki. The rest of us will be executed in their place. That's right. I hate this. I don't want to do it, but if I want to stay alive, I'll make it through this with everyone. I have no choice! Investigation time! We should see what the Munich Monokuma files says say. Oh, by the way, you guys told me that, um, uh, apparently, the, uh, I can actually. Once, once I found all the evidence, it'll automatically go to the trial, so it's not like I can accidentally miss any evidence, which is which is good, which means m most of the really puzzle solving will come when you're actually in the trial, so. Time of death, approximately 2 a.m. The course was discovered in the women's changing room on the second floor of the school zone. The cause of death was a blunt force trauma to the head. Death occurred instantaneously. That's all the information he's giving us. The isn't going to get me anywhere, though. Whether, whether I like it or not, I've got to do this. Emo. Hey Nagi, you have a second. Huh? You need me for something? Of course. How dumb would your life be if, if you were never needed? Okay, what do you want, douchebag? Help with my investigation. Are you fucking kidding me? Hell no! <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna help. I wanna kill you too, how about that? I'm enlisting your aid. The, the aid of the man who solved Sankamazuma's murder. Solved? That was just... Yeah, you're right, I'm awesome. <laughs> I chose you because you are someone I can make good use of. You will help with my investigation. No, I don't want to! <laughs> You're gonna help me get over here. No, let me go, I don't want to! <laughs> Why do I sound like you're about it? He's pressuring me pretty hard for what I thought was supposed to be a request. Let's begin. Hold on. Shut up and get to it. We don't have time to screw around. And what are you gonna do? I'm gonna stand here and look sexy. I'm gonna polish my glasses and count my money. I'm not really entirely sure what just happened. It's like Tigami and I are working together, or something. You do all the work, and I'll take all the credit. All life has been drained from her body. All such is her corpse. Fujisaki's corpse. The more I look at it, the more bizarre it seems. So this is Jenna Snyder's shoes' work. But we haven't... We haven't concluded that Jenna Snyder's shoe is responsible. Is that what you're trying to say? I wouldn't be so sure about that. No, 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 no. That's a great time to start laughing maniacally. Oh, she got hit with a freaking weight. The fresh looking blood stain on the carpet. Those must have been happened during the, the murder. There's a dumbbell on the floor. And there's blood on it! <laughs> or, we think it's blood. The Monokuma flower says the cause of her death was a blunt force trauma to the head. Which make this m dumbbell the murder weapon? Uh, that makes dumbbell the murder weapon. That's the only reasonable conclusion. Ammo! The phrase bloodbath fever is on the wall. What the heck does bloodbath fever even mean? Are you serious? I thought I was going to add that to my ammo. Oh, there's something on the... Her blood got on the wall there. There's blood spatter on the poster. It must have happened when the killer attacked Fujisaki. <laughs> Uh, 
Alright, what do you have to say, dude? Aside from anything douchey. More investigating, less chatting. Nope, nothing else, not less douchey. She's thoroughly investigating Fujinaki's corpse. In fact, she's even touching her body. What a strange woman to be able to touch a corpse, and to do so with a straight face. She's gotta be some kind of a detective. She, her outfit even kinda looks detective-y. I think she's pretty focused on her work. She didn't so much as bad night at Tagami's comment. Don't care! What do you have to say? Sakura. I can hardly believe Fujisaki was murdered in this very changing room. I was here just yesterday, working on my burly, my burly arms. I do wonder why she was killed in a chain room of all places. As you know, it's possible she was killed somewhere else and brought here after the fact. Indeed, she is rather light. It would not be difficult to move her body after killing her. But someone had dumbbells, you know, so... However, I believe that she brought herself here on her own two feet. What makes you think that? These past few days, she frequently spoke of wanting to strengthen her body. She has actually been saying that. So you think Fujisaki came here to work out? Monica knows that she was killed at approximately 2 a.m. Should she really be working out that late? She was likely trying to avoid running into Ashina or myself. We often work out here during the day. She's avoiding you. But this, as Ashina and I invited her to work out with us on numerous occasions, she always refused. I can only assume she was avoiding us. You're probably just embarrassed. She came here to work out by herself in the middle of the night. I found it hard to believe she was alone. She wanted to start working out, but she said she was unable to do so by herself. She said she wants someone to assist her. So you're saying Fujisaki came here to the change room to work out in secret in the middle of the night. She didn't come- wait, I'm just realized we're in the girls' locker room right now, aren't we? Why is there a picture of a big-titted girl over in the wall? <laughs> oh, yes! Mm, I'm working out for you, big-titted girl! That's right, I- <laughs> I attract all genders! She didn't- she didn't come alone. It is a possibility. Thanks, Ugami. Doing alright, Wada? The kid had one hell of a complex about being weak. You you heard, didn't you? Always saying, I gotta get stronger. I do remember her saying that, yeah. He was trying to build some muscle, get stronger, and then this. There was was there really any need for her to get stronger in the first place? You say it yourself, there's nothing wrong with, with girls being weak. Beats me. I don't know everything that was going through that kid's head. I'm kinda curious. Where the source of Fujisaki's complex lies. That's true, she... Uh, her father, maybe? Alright, let's get moving. Oh, huh? already? I'm not gonna learn anything by sting put. We need, we need to examine this case from many different angles. I get that, but... If you do, if you understand this, stop moving. He's more than a little pushy, isn't he, you little fucker? It's like he thinks he's one... He has me on a leash. Why am I following him? Alright, we'll investigate here next. How does this have anything to do with the murder? These are ahead. Where's the fun in relying on others for everything? Alright, well, let's check out the machine gun. She said I was killed by definitely not this. Should be full of holes shit then. Oh, come on! There's gotta be something, right? Um, maybe the electric card thing here? So recall you need your use your electric card on this car to open the door, don't you? Is there something you're not sure about? Then why don't you ask Monokuma directly? As soon as the words left his mouth, Tagami clapped his hands twice. Oh my be a service! Behold, I have the power to summon Monokuma. Oh, really? No, I mean really, if you just mention his name, he just shows up on his own. You got that right, bitches! Is Tagami team Monokuma? It seems Nagi has a question for you. Sure, sup! Um, about these car readers. Car responds only respond to you guys as electrodes. Watch out, you can only enter the changing room that corresponds with the electrode owner's gender. You also said it was impossible for two people to enter together, did you not? Any sexual terrorists attempted to do so? We'll find themselves with far more orifices than they can fill. First, see Mr. Gatling down up there. Oh! <laughs> it's also against the rules to lend your electrode to someone else, isn't it? Ja, we see! That's the case. Only girls can enter the women's change room and only guys can enter the men's. We just say, since we found Shujisaki's in the women's change room. Oh, okay, I can see right through you, Nagi. You can see through me. This is what you were thinking, isn't it? Since the girl was discovered in the women's change room, the culprit had to have gone inside. In other words, one of the girls killed her. 
You're reaching for the low-hanging fruit. Is that wrong? Take a good, take a good, close look at the class, the school rules. This is what they say. You are forbidden from lending your electricity to anyone. The rules prohibit the act of lending, but not borrowing. Ah, you steal somebody else's. Oh, I expect all this rich child into comic group. You're damn right, bitches. You found the loophole in the, you found the loophole in the rules. This is you we're talking about. I'm sure you left the holy pool on purpose to make things more interesting. Oh, you didn't even break a sweat. You're kicking all sorts of ass today. Oh, damn. If I had a beer, a bear wee wee, I'd be getting seriously excited right now. Ew. <laughs> There's a freebie. How only can the dead not defend themselves? They don't even count as people. If you catch my drift. Hold on. See, so there was a loophole. But doesn't uh, barring someone's Electro ID also count as them lending it to you? Yeah, hold on. You're making me sleepy. Thank you from Takami over here and put a little punch in your words. Tell me, you dirty bear. As punishment, I'm giving you the cold shoulder. Kuna is over. Think for yourself. <laughs> God dang it. I'm supposed to have no choice but my slowly disappointing partner in crime. I'll explain his stead. Come on, we're going to the entrance hall. Entrance hall. You'll see when we get there. Alright. Go. Cool. Well, here we are. What do you want to see? See? What do me to see here, Tagami? Hmm. Guess I'm on my own. Great. That's fucking great. Probably something in the wall here. What's this? Slayer box here. Maybe there's something inside. Are these Electro IDs? Just one, but three. I hear of all places. Sounds like you found them. Well, you knew these were here. I just certainly ha happened upon them myself. Seems like your IDs are returned to this letter box when their owner when their owners die. Oh, somebody freaking took like Mizonos or Junkos. Soon these letter IDs belong to Inoshima Kawada Mizono. You have eyes. Use them. Grab one of the Electro IDs and try to turn it on. You're right. This Mizuno's Electro ID. Now, do you understand what we what we meant when we were turning, talking about the loophole and the rule? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Blah blah blah. Yes. Yeah. Can we get it? Does not prevent borrowing. Blah blah blah. This is what he was talking about. Hmm, what happened? Something wrong? That's strange. One of these electron IDs won't boot up. I mean, it's broken. Whose is it? The other electron ID says Junko, so it's gotta be Kuwata's. In that case, I'm not surprised. How many baseballs did it have slammed into it? Oh, yeah. Slam with baseballs. Oh, shit, yeah, you remember this? Oh, man, you fuckers just stood there when I get pelted to death. You guys fucking suck. I read that moment came rushing back. The horrid execution that took his life. The tasteless production of the puppet master made. The end of a human being's life. Yep, my memory's over. Great. <laughs> At least I got pull out that voice again. You're right, Nico? That's right, Kuwata. Hell yeah. yeah. It wouldn't surprise me either if it broke after all that. Ah! 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 Whoa! 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 <laughs> What's your problem? Your electronic is a key item integral, integral to your life here in the academy. So don't go thinking smacking around with a few balls or anything is gonna break it. But it actually. I said it will. Say it will. I could easily withstand up having a 10 ton anvil drop on it and having you know, a 100 meter below sea level is cake. No matter how many baseballs you throw on it, it's not gonna break. No way, Jose! No way, Jose! However, even though the old body electric, he has one weakness. Weakness? Oh, come on, dude, tell us! That's classified, can't you? Can't have you going around breaking yours because I blurred it out. So, Quad unwillingly stumbled upon the weakness, weakness in Brooks' Electro ID. Who knows? If you ask me, I don't think his Electro ID is broken. Who knows, though? My god, this shit is getting bananas. The Monokuma disappeared, leaving us to ponder the meaning of his extremely suggestive commentary. Giggity, giggity! <laughs> what was that all about? Monokuma says Kawhi's Electro ID isn't broken, but we have it right here, and it isn't working. It's not all that important. At the very least, it doesn't have anything to do with the murder. 
or does it? Is it really irrelevant? Something tells me that might not be the, in the case. That might be the case. Not. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's in my ammo, so that means it isn't. Unless you do it for the preliminary work. Say it's time we started doing some real investigation. Ripping the mask off his psychopath. I mean, wh whoever killed Fujisaki? Not exactly. Well, not exactly. What you talking about, Biakia? What do you mean, not exactly, Tagami? Well, yes, I do want to find the culprit. To be more precise, what I really want to do is uncover Genocide Shu's true identity. So you really think Genocide Shu killed Fujisaki? Of course I do. There's no doubt in my mind the culprit is Genocide Shu. Genocide Shu is the home of the style maniac, right? Who else would it be? He's a, he's a villainously brutal and demented serial killer. He chooses his victims at random and without warning. Police can't find a pattern. The internet has dubbed the suspect of these serial murder cases. Genocide Shu. I know that story! The idea that this victim... This victim's number in the thousands is obviously that just an urban legend. But still, you're saying that one of us is that psychopathic serial killer? Precisely. And it's totally me, baby. <laughs> and now you must die because you know my secret. No! No! Ah! I'm gonna... <laughs> I will beat you to death with wads of cash. But that's insane! I have undeniable proof that, that I'm going to show, to show that to you. Okay, what is it? Do I have to talk to you again? No, I don't want to talk to you! Damn it! Oh, I, I can say with certainty that Jenner's there is somewhere in this building. Oh, here we go. With certainty, really? We're done here. I'm going to take you somewhere and show you proof that it was Jenner's there shooting. Okay. Where are you guys? Hey, guys! I got news trouble! Help! We're busy. <laughs> We're busy. Get out of here. It's an emergency! An emergency! Help, please! What's going on, Sheena? It's an emergency! Emergency, help me! She relax. What? It's an emergency! <laughs> What's the emergency? Kyle's in trouble. She's acting funny. She's been murdering everybody. Actually, she, she's, she's been acting funny. <laughs> what do you want to do, Tagami? To go for Kaba, huh? I'm a little concerned about her. Let's go see how she's doing. Are you sure? Don't make me repeat myself. When I tell you to do something, you do it, you little, <laughs> you little shit. Fuck you. Kick you in the nuts. I have to say, I didn't expect that. I totally thought he'd blow her off. Come on, hurry, hurry! Well, that's Ashina. Looks like he was, she was heading for the dorms. Probably for Kama's bedroom. Got it. Where is she? Okay, all right. Hey, Fukawa, you doing okay? She said Fukawa has some sort of emergency. What? Well, come on! What? Jesus! Can't go in the room. I gotta talk to her first. She's got some slow pokes. Just too fast. So what's the problem? After what happened in the cheating room, me and Ishmael brought Fukawa back to her room to rest. A little while later, I thought I'd check up on her. But she was acting kind of bananas. She absolutely refused to leave her room. She was mumbling all sorts of weird things. What do you mean weird? Let me try talking to her yourself. Alright. Sure, I'm totally sure this isn't totally gonna backfire. Ding dong! <laughs> Pizza delivery for, uh. I see Wiener. The door slid open without a sound. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! The negative word that spilled through the crack in the door almost knocked me off my feet. <laughs> What? Uh, well, she was worried about you because you locked yourself in there. Leave me alone. Um, would you just open the door for me? I won't let her run. I won't let her run free. I knew it. She's got a split personality. Hmm. I bet if she is genocide or shoe. Their other personality is. Huh? I will not let genocide or shoe run free. She slammed the door in my face. What? She was like that when I came by earlier, too. I'll banish that accursed homicidal maniac. I don't know, no idea what she's going on about, but I was scared to sleep her like that, so I tried to force the door open. Hmm, I'm, gonna, I'm wondering, though, because this is making it quite obvious to me. I mean... That she has some split personality or something, right? Um, but maybe then it, this ends up. Maybe this is end up not being Genesis Arshu. 
and it's just the one who copycat. But no, 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 no. Uh, Biaki said he do for certain, apparently. Look, she's barricaded the door, and I couldn't get it open any farther. The guy was so frightened, she barricaded herself in the room. She had the same idea as Tagami. It was a serial killer just sent a shoe for murder for Fujisaki. Is that why she's so scared? Or maybe it's because she's got a split personality and she's crazy. I'm really worried about her. What if anyone, there's anyone who can talk to her out of there? Probably you, because she fucking loves you. Stop staring at my manly penis. My rich manly penis. Hey, Tagami, would you mind giving it a shot? It's me and Vince to leave her room. Oh, I suppose. Huh? You try telling her to got me? I'm surprised. You can't. You actually can't be nice sometimes. Whatever. <laughs> Better words, you got me first the door and place his finger on the intercom. Get out here, bitch. I want my money. A few moments later. Leave me alone, for God's sake. <gasps> Sagami! <laughs> it's Sagami, stupid. You stupid slut. I'm so sorry. I couldn't keep our promise. Well, you mean taking a shower, you're right. You still smell like doo-doo. But you don't need to worry. I won't let her run free. I won't let you and Sarashu run free anymore. She closed the door. Even Kadami, Kadami, Kadami couldn't do it. There's nothing we can do about it. Let's get back to the investigation. Hold on a second. What does Kyle mean by our promise? Promise? Hell if I know. Probably just another one of our delusions. But... I said I don't know. I just seen a deal with Fukawa. Yeah, okay, I'll stay here and keep an eye on her. Thanks for dumping her on me, you fuckers. Let's go. I'm waiting for a response. Tell me start walking away. You got me! I only pushed it you God damn, he's fast. No matter how many times I tried calling him along the way, he didn't so much as look back at me, let alone respond. He simply marched forward. I'll stop him until he reached his destination. The library? What are you waiting for? Go inside. I guess the proof must be here. Hey, is there really proof here that Genocide Shu is responsible for Fushisaki's murder? Don't make me repeat myself. Is in this room they wouldn't let me go in before? As I recall, this door leads to the archives, right? Go on in. So the proof is here. You'll see. Holy, that's a lot of documents in. This place takes Dusty to a whole new level. I believe you'll find enough valuable information in this room to warrant putting up, the du up with the dust. Alright. Start with the thing right in front of me. Shelves full of notebooks and folders. I wonder what's in them. Those files are dangerous. Dangerous? That shelf contains detail detailed data on the people who run the world. It's, in it's info civilians should never know. I mean, like, about the mermaid? The mermaids the about the mermaid swamp yes about the mermaid swamp the fuck are you talking about M members of the the diet the diet diet i mean the people controlling them the true ruling class if you don't mind being a race go ahead and take a look you'll find a lot of surprising names in there you're joking right can to find out just be safe i'll just not do that so you have packs the edge files reach out and pick one at random fine choice it's a copy of a case file from a certain country's national archives concerning the assassination of one of the presidents. They're planning at long last to unveil us 30 years from now. Just don't come running to me when you become a target for learning that information too early. Well, what the hell, dude? Excuse me, but you didn't you look it up? You must have looked it up, so I guess that means you're a target now, and you're probably gonna die. So, uh -huh. Excuse me, bitch. God damn, I saw him return the file to his place. Fucking hell. What am I looking for? An empty wooden box. The markings of the dust, I guess there used to be something in here. Do you know what used to be in this box? There was an extension cord in there. I brought it to the library. Extension cord. Hmm. Okay. You've got a light. I recognize this desk lamp. It's the one Tagami was using in the other room. It's a lamp. What of it? There's another one of these here in the... Here that I brought into the library proper. The light is... The lighting is dismal in there. And so it's necessary to read... I found money! I don't care, I've already got... I've already got 30,000 30, Monokuma coins. I've got 800 of every kind of prize there is. Because I'm awesome. 
Shut up. This camera's even in here. Okay, so it's gotta be the one right behind him. Look, shovel's pipe with how it's thick files. Let me give you a word of warning before you decide whether or not to look at those. God damn it, now what? Showcase hundreds, if not thousands, of case files, crime scene photos, and all. Including someone that a normal person wouldn't be able to handle seeing. Just a warning. What do you mean, unable to handle? Every single one of those are cold case files. Internal confidential police documents that would, under normal circumstances, never see the light of day. Huh? So, have you come to appreciate how extraordinary these archives are? This room is the reason I was so interested in the library. Confidential police and government documents, things that would never be available publicly, filled the room. It's glorious. You weren't joking. You have this terrible habit of saying things must be false so they don't fit your view of reality. I have no idea how you can even expect me to believe all this is real. Anyway, who could have collected who would could have collected all of this? How could they have done it? Either the Kabini Academy is just that influential. Well, the Puffin Master just didn't want me getting bored. <laughs> uh huh. I can't do it. I can't keep up with him. This is just too outrageous. Fuck this. <laughs> oh! Oh, right in my royal nuts. Oh, my no. Oh! Yes, yeah, right. Talk down to me again, huh? Do it! Do it! You flubby. Oh! Yeah, I dared you, and you did it! <laughs> you see what happens? You see what happened to your royal nuts? Do you have any babies now? Come on, do you still not believe me? I'd like to know how you can. Any normal person could. What is normal? Normal, average, simple. They do not exist. You can't comprehend that. You can't possibly understand the fundamental precepts of this world. My ears are starting to hurt. My voice is starting to hurt from doing his voice. You're also basing your comments on what you consider common sense. Don't apply your pedestrian common sense to someone in my position. Mm mm, because -mm, I'm fucking fantastic. <laughs> the documents here are without question legitimate. Having seen them before, I can attest to, it to that. Wait, you said you've seen these before? Well, these are all highly classified documents, aren't they? Then why? My house is a reading one, and it much like these archives. Though not nearly as small and dusty, it's actually larger and has more shit. I already know about everyone in this building and everyone in the world. I've got a social security number of every human being in the free and the planet. What? Members of the Tagami family have full unrestricted access to government data. Wow, really? Not just domestically, either. Why? How? Do you remember what I said earlier about the true ruling class? The Takami family is a part of that. Noble blood throws, flows through my veins. Blood that will one day have me sitting at the top of the world. As one of the rulers, it is necessary for me, too. I have a vast wealth of knowledge about the world. And so whenever I had the time, I would read whatever documents or records interest me. And that is why I can say with, a, with absolute certainty that all files here are unquestionably real. This is no longer a question of whether I believe it or not. I'm trying to think Tagami is infinitely more terrifying than the Puppet Master. The things that interested me most were the police case files for unsolved crimes. Ever since I was young, one of my hobbies has been looking at unsolved case files. It was a great way to work my mind, and I solved more than a few cases while I was at it. Lately, there's been one case I've had a particular fascination with. The genocide of shoes, serial killings. This is booked. You got me pulled a single file from one of the shelves. This is that file. Every report on the... Every reported file on the sh sh genocide of shoe case is right here. There's so much there's so much of it, I'll just give you a summary of the most important information. To start off, there are two unique characteristics to the genocide of shoe murders. First, Nishan Shu always writes bloodbath fever in the victim's blood somewhere at the crime scene. And second, Nishan's victims are all crucified. The phrase bloodbath fever in the victim's blood in crucifixion. That's what hap that's just like what happened to Fujisaki. Hold on to your surprise, the interesting part is yet to come. The second characteristic, that he crucifies his victims is only known to those at the very highest level of law enforcement. I see, so that's why he knows for certain that this has got to be... The media hasn't given that information. Been given that information. What? What I'm saying is bloody... is bloody calling card is public knowledge, and anyone who could find out about it, but only the upper echelon of police and genocide of Shu himself know the crucifixions. Now back to Fujisaki's body. She was, as I recall, propped up as, as she'd been crucified. 
the question becomes, how did the killer know the particular detail of Shinosayashi's M.O.? And that's where the problem lies. But there's an easy answer. The culprit was not a copycat, but Genocide Shu himself. This is my proof that someone here is actually Genocide Shu. Then it's true? Someone here is a demented serial killer? Balls! Bah! This case has gotten rather interesting, hasn't it? Who would have expected we had an infamous homicidal maniac participating in this game? I suggest you look over this file yourself, Nagi. I'm sure you'll find plenty of useful information. If you come begging and crying, I'll consider showing it to you. <laughs> I got a better idea. How about I just fucking take it from you? <laughs> oh, oh. Why always my royal nuts? Why always the royal nuts? Because they're wide open and fucking. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> so am I done? Am I done? Yummy, yeah, I mean, you might have to take a look at that. The generous Irish shoot case file. You don't need the begging nor crying, but I suppose I can let you off easy. You can go as much as you want here. You cannot take it out of this room. Holy fuck! With my nerves and high alert, I took the file with, with from Tagami and began flipping through it. My hands stopped. We came to a page containing a series of crime scene photos. Oh my god! Names and pictures of Genocide Shoes victims fill page after page. I will stab with scissors. Ken Harada, Tristino Honda, Gaku Doodly, Badoodly Doodly Badoodly Doodly. More people, more people, more people, more people. At the very least, I have learned that every single one of them, his victims, are killed and crucified in exactly the same manner. In addition, he leaves the message in bloodbath fever in the victim's blood at the scene. Take a look at the next pic. Wait, wait, she wasn't. Did she didn't have a. She wasn't stabbed with scissors, though, right? Uh. Fujisaki wasn't. It, was she? And everyone else seemed to have scissors stabbed in them. Take a look at the next page. I'm sure you'll find what's written there very interesting. The next page. Whoa! Again! Whoa! Suspect profile. Murders either occur late night on week weekdays or during the afternoons on weekends. And evenings and weekends. They most frequently occur in the early afternoon on weekends. Based on the above information, we believe the suspect is with a high degree of probability a student. So we have evidence showing the suspect remains at the scene for extended periods of time, then flees from the scene in a panic, as there have been no reported signs of the suspect. It appears he exhibits this peculiar behavior, irrespective behavior of any external influence. Okay, I'm like so certain now it's gotta be Fukawa. Because then, like, she's got a split personality. One side's the homicidal maniac, the other side's just the weird Fukawa. And then she probably comes back to her senses and flips shit like she did when she saw Fujisaki. Based on this apparently illogical inconsistent behavior, we hypothesize this, this suspect has severe case of disassociative identity disorder. There you go! I'm sure what they're saying is it's possible for Genocide to choose someone who has multiple personalities. Multiple personalities, like the sort of thing you see on TV, or the thing we just saw two seconds ago. Once again, things have started losing touch with reality. But everything else I've heard leading up to this has been far, far more unbelievable. The fact that this doesn't even seem quite so strange to me not being desensitized to absurdity. Loaded this in ammunition. Alright, then let's get going. Uh, going, going where? Out of here. We don't want to have any more business here. Hold on a second. God damn it. Stop running for me, you fucker. Yeah, again, I found myself chasing Tagami as he walked off without me. Okay, well, I'm done with you now. I have other business to attend to before the class trial. Huh? Already? Vey, you thought we'd be together forever? Spare me the imposing misunderstandings, would you? Most of your investigation is on your shoulders. So you get the trial. With that, he disappeared from my sight. He curved me out of the blue, and then he just fired me suddenly. Part of me feels like I just got dragged around by the collar. There's no denying to that. Thanks to him, I've gained a lot of valuable information. Junior Slash Shu, the villainous serial murderer responsible for Fujisaki's death, is apparently one of us. I gotta figure out who that is. Do that. There are a few places I need to go. First, the scene of the crime. The woman's changing room. I was just there. <laughs> I should also check out the men's changing room. Next, some of the other others might have information I don't, so I should try talking to them too. Okay, oh my god. Whew, that was a long series of cutscenes. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end here for now, guys. Anyway, like for if you enjoyed this video, subscribe now and hop for the CLP. The days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Yes, I said it right this time. <laughs> anyway, till next time, guys, stay classy.